Hi friends. In this video, I will show you how to repair LED flood light. This LED has 10 watts power and come with IP66 enclosure. I think it is good enough. For your information, IP66 is IP rated as dust tight and protected against heavy seas or powerful jets of water. I don't want to try this LED because there is water due inside. I'm afraid it will cause a short circuit. So, I think I will open it first. Okay. Let's just do this. First, we need two pairs of wrench number 10. Then use the wrench to take the bolts and nuts of the bracket. After the bracket is taken, you can see the LED has two clamps on each side. To remove it, use a flathead screwdriver. Pry it slowly from side to make a gaps, because it will make easier to take the clamp. If the gap shown, insert the screwdriver then lift it off. But watch out with the scattered glass. The difficult parts is, we need to remove the glass cover. Because it has a glue or something and it is so strong, so the glass sticks very hard and it is difficult to remove. I try to heat it with my SMD rework station. But if you don't have tools like mine, you can use the other tool that generates heat, such as iron, electric warmer, or even electric stove, I think it will help a lot. But don't use fire to open it. Because it will broken the electronic components inside. I'm sorry if the video looks unstable, this has happened because my camera was near the SMD rework station. I use the old ones that had an air pump inside, and also generate so much vibration. That's terrible, I know, and I'm sorry for that. Okay, back to the video. After the LED's glass cover receive a lot of heat, then try to pry it with something thin and strong from side to side. It's the difficult part remember. I spend almost 30 minutes to open it. But in this video I cut this parts, so you don't have to wait as long as what I'm done. After about 30 minutes struggle with this thing, finally it can be opened. As you can see, it has thick enough glass to protect the LEDs and the reflector stick together with it.
I try to measure it. It is about 4 millimeters thick, it's pretty good. I try to connect the cable with AC plug, then I connect it to the mains electricity. I found two LED with a black spot inside, but one of them has an invisible black spot, and it's cause all of the LEDs cannot work well. Some LED blinking and the other completely dead. And for the replacement, I have a same kind of LED from other broken LED light. Use a small wire cutter to remove the LED quickly. Then clean the left parts with the soldering iron and pin set. Then use the lighter to release the LED from broken LED light for replacement. This is the easiest way that I ever used. This method will not affect with the LED shape. Once it's taken, then play with your soldering iron and pin set to place the LEDs.
After the LEDs attached to the PCB, I try to connect it to the mains electricity, but it doesn't give a light. I found that one of the LED doesn't attach perfectly. Then I decide to replace it again, because the shape is not good, because my soldering iron melted one side of the LEDs. Then test it again, and, voila, light is coming up. Clean up the PCB with alcohol so it will not make the LED blurry. The last step is assemble what we take before. I try to place the glass cover into its place. But, I found it has a gap between the main cover. Then use the pliers to bend it a little bit, so the gap can be reduced. After minimizing the gap, remove glue behind the glass and also on the main cover. Use cutter to remove it. Once it's clean enough, use a glue and spread it across the surface of the main cover. Then stick together with the glass, also use glue on the open side. After a while, attach the clamps again on each side. and glue again for protection. And finally, assemble the bracket. And that's it, I hope this tutorial can help you. Thanks for watching.